like you go into a changing room and people know the Frank that I know. Yeah. And you're in this position of extreme powers. Sounds like I'm, I'm over-egging it, but you are the man in the middle, the man with the whistle. You know how to blow it. And you're there having to make big decisions against you know lads that you like and some that you might not like as well. Yeah. And uh, well, how did you deal? With, yeah, how do you deal with that? Once you get on the pitch, genuinely, it's not a factor. You know, it's you like have... playing against your mates, so I suppose. You know, if you play against your mates, when yeah, it, you don't, you don't, you don't yeah, think about it, do you? Yeah, exactly. You know, genuinely, it's not a factor. When I first started, I remember doing an All Ireland League game, and an ex Connacht player was was the hooker of that team. And he, as soon as I walked in, he just started laughing. I just said. I, I just have no in, I, I can't because he knew I'd be bluffing particularly at that stage of my career mm. I'd be, I have a bit more uh, knowledge about me in terms of that uh, factor of the game now but at that time he knew I knew I just walked out I said good luck lads <laughs> have a good one <laughs>